Now, we've been closely covering the unity talks between Hamas and Fatah in Cairo this week, but even with a unified Palestinian authority, the question in Israel remains how that unity will play out in the grander scheme of peace in the Middle East. Well, to that greater end, another school of thought for solving the decades-long Israeli-Palestinian conflict will now be center-focused at an upcoming conference in Jerusalem. Joining me now in the studio to tell us all about it is Ted Bellman, the editor and publisher of Israel Pundit. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. All right. Pleased so, to be here. So, uh, thank you. My first question for you is, what is the idea that you'll be presenting at this conference? Well, as you know, um, Israel is looking for alternate solutions. Uh, not everybody, but the majority want mm. something different than a two-state solution. And uh, Bennett and different people, have, uh, Carolyn Glick, have all offered solutions. Uh, then there's a whole separate group who consider Jordan is Palestine. But we're distinguished from that group because we don't believe in negotiating with the PA because it doesn't get us anywhere or negotiating with the king. No agreement can be negotiated. So our plan is totally different. So, okay, so who, who is going to be in attendance to back this conference? Uh, the Jordan uh, Opposition Coalition headed by Mudar Zahran. Okay. And uh, he has been toiling to achieve this result for 10 years years living on welfare, life in danger, living in exile, in a safe house, and so on. And uh, I'm bringing him here and bringing in another Arab speaker who's now living in America. And they're going to make the case that they can take over Jordan. Uh, and when they do, it'll be good for Israel, very good for Israel. So, so first of all, I mean, it, it doesn't sound like this is some sort of fringe ideology. This is something that, that has gained a lot of traction. Uh, it's gained a lot of traction, but even more with the higher-ups, with the government on the, on the quiet. They are very interested in the possibilities in this solution. Because if they come to power, and it's a separate issue, how do they come to power? Yeah, I want to know. You know how, I'll, I'll how, how do we back. assume power without negotiating well, with the Hashemites or with, or with We the don't PA? even need consent of the people. We don't need consent of the Congress. This is an executive action like the removal of Mubarak. An executive action on whose behalf? Who, who is acting? U.S. So the U.S. would need to intervene and basically Quietly. dissolve Jordan. Quietly. They'd enable it to happen. They would enable Jordan to fall and for a Palestinian state to rise in its ashes? Exactly. That's the solution. That's the heart how, of it. How would they ensure that the Palestinian state would be the one to rise? Ah, because first of all, uh, the U.S. controls the Jordanian army and controls the intelligence service. And if they give them orders to install so-and-so in power, it'll get done. How do you expect the Hashemites to, to respond to an argument? The like Hashemites only represent a clan of about 82 people. The uh, Palestinians hate them even more than they hate the Jews. And the Bedouins, surprisingly, hate them also. So the king has no support and his fall is imminent. Imminent like within a year or two at the most. So you think Jordan is on the out to begin with? Yes. And you just want to ensure that the Palestinian state would, would be the one to take its Not place. a Palestinian state, the, a particular oh, Palestinian particular. state run by Budar Zahran. For instance, they're going to pass a law that all Palestinians, wherever they are, have a right of return to Jordan. Right. And that includes everybody in the Judean Samaria. They all have Palestinian citizenship. And they will have the right to go to Jordan, get benefits, and everything else. So that's what they're going to do. Plus, they want to normalize with us totally. How do you get, how do you get all the Palestinians who are living in the West Bank and Gaza and, and other Palestinian I thought you wouldn't ask. I, I'm getting to it. Okay. How do you get them to, to want to take part in this? Well, because there's um, a strong nationality or nationalistic you ideology. You would be surprised. At our conference, we have a, a number of Palestinians who are coming to say, we hate living under the PA. You give us a good job and passport and normal life, and we'll move to Jordan. That's basically the idea. Now, what we want to do is incentivize them to leave. Whatever it takes to encourage them to leave, that's what Israel has to do. And that's the solution. That's the whole idea. And part of incentivizing them to leave is not de-incentivizing them by having economic programs and making it all better. You can't, as they say, suck and blow at the same time. If you want them to leave, don't give them a feather bed here. 
All right. Well, thank you for coming. I, I'm very interested to see what comes it's out of this conference. It, it is. It's a fascinating ideology, and, and I'm very interested to see what comes out of this conference. Ted Bellman, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. All right.